I'm studying about how Korean children use and learn Korean writing systems of alphabetic Hangul, mostly, and sometimes logographic Hanja, which is uh, Chinese characters. Hangul was invented by King Sejong uh, with his scholars in the 15th century. The postface to King Sejong's 1446 manual said that the bright people can learn Hangul in a single morning, and even the not so bright can do so within 10 days, which means that Hangul is easy script to learn. Hangul is an alphabet in terms that it has 19 consonant letters and 21 vowel letters. It is also called an alphabetic syllabary since syllable is written in a scale block like Chinese characters. Korean written syllable is called kuja. Hangul written syllable kuja shows a clear syllable boundary within a, a Korean Hangul word. Kuja is visually Italian and it is considered to be the basic unit of Korean word recognition according to previous studies. Um, I just want to ask, um, is, is it the case that uh, Hangul also has some connection to the shape of the mouth? Oh, right, that's true. Yeah, like Gu is a uh, like m, m sound is from the uh, from the uh, from the mouth, right? Mm -hmm. Its uh, shape is like a uh, square. Looks like the what uh, we say in with, with mouth. Okay. Yeah. The, the, that really shapes similar. I mean, make uh, similar to how the sounds comes. Do you tell the children that? Do you show them the correspondence between what it looks like and the and the? Not mouth? actually, not actually. We just it's, uh, it's written in in the book or in in textbooks, but we don't say that to explicitly to children. Okay. So, uh, Hangul is transparent in the sense that each alphabet letter makes just one sound. However. Uh, consonant mm, sounds are often changed uh, due to phonological changes of uh, Korean language, such as uh, resyllabification and sound uh, consonant assimilation. In addition to Hangul, uh, Korean people learn Hanja, uh, Chinese characters, but their use has been reduced these days. Mm -hmm. hmm. Well, so when you say reduced, like, do all right. children learn it, or or many children simply do not learn it anymore? Uh, actually, we learn Hanja from middle school. Okay, everybody. Um, everybody. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, everybody. But uh, most uh, elementary school take Hanja uh, class as elective, so probably one hour per week or something like that. Yeah, so they are just familiar with that, but in ancient times, all newspapers and textbooks write a hanja uh, in there, but these days, everything is written in Hangul, so it's not that uh, used often. Interesting. Yeah. And sorry, I don't know if you were going to say this later, but do children also learn English, and at what age do they learn? Right. Children learn English from grade three. Okay. At age 9 or 10, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. so 3 or 2 or 3 hours per, per week, okay. first, yeah. So uh, Korean children start to learn Hangul at the age of 4 or 5 at home by the help of parents or by the help of private education called uh, commercial worksheets, which uh, that. And formerly, uh, Korean children are supposed to learn Hangul in elementary school at age 6. Kindergartens do not formally teach Hangul. However, it's true that many Koreans learn Hangul before they go to elementary school. 
So uh, we already, I already said that Korean children learn English from grade three and Hanja from middle school. And one more question about the context. So do they learn with the syllable, um, what's that called, like the poster the syllable of syllables? Chart? Chart, yeah. yeah. The chart? Yeah, right. Actually, uh, syllable, chart, it's, is in uh, one syllable chart is in at every home okay. when a kids a little uh, uh, at the time four or five age age but uh, it's not explicitly just taught with that syllable chart I think so just uh, doesn't consider that as important. So do the children learn phoneme, like the phoneme made by each symbol, or with the syllable first? Syllable first. Okay. Yes. All right. Syllable first. Uh -huh. Yeah. So Korean children first learn CV syllables first. Uh, in their names and high frequent words. Later, they learn CBC syllables and alphabet letters. Reading of CV syllables uh, is more like emergent literacy in Korea, I think. And uh, three teaching methods are often used in Korea, but uh, different methods are preferred by different institutions. For example, whole word method or whole the culture method is preferred by kindergartens and phonics method which focus on letter knowledge and letter sound correspondences uh, is preferred by private education or uh, uh, commercial workshops and cv syllable chart is a traditional method so a uh, typical CV syllable chart has 14 uh, consonant letters in column and 10 basic vowels in, in rows to make 140 CV syllables. So although CV syllable is not popular these days, recent, some of recent studies show that it's, uh, uh, it's good to help, it helps children's reading and writing skills. So would you advocate that a phonics method or a whole language is better for learning to read in Korean? What do you say again? Is it better to do pho the phonics, the mm -hmm. phoneme focus, as in the private kindergartens, or is it better to do the whole language, like the memorization of syllables? Or actually, is the combination better? Well, actually, there's not many studies to examine that, uh, that uh, which methods are good or not. Probably I tried several studies, but the results are not consistent, not very good. I mean, there's no training effect or something like that. But recently, I had one study that showed that the effective uh, training method is more like uh, uh, depending on students' uh, hunger reading mm. skills. Mm -hmm. For example, for the pre-readers who cannot read hunger at all, whole word method or whole culture method was really good, effective. But for novice readers who could read some of hunger words, the uh, a syllable, CV syllable chart was effective using that one. Wow. Probably for uh, fluent readers, nothing, I mean, make any difference. Great. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, we need to, uh, probably later, we need to add some more method like copying or combining the uh, two different methods together, how that, yeah give any effects mm -hmm. or not. We could do that. Yeah. 
So what I'm going to say is, although CV syllable chart is not popular these days, recent studies on Korean mother-child joint writing show that mother's strategy to focus on CV syllable and coda parts separately it helped their children's hunger reading and writing. And what makes Hangul reading easy can be from the statement of King Sejong's manual that bright people can learn in a single morning. In fact, Hangul is transparent in terms that one alphabet consonant and vowel letter make just one sound. And syllable structure is a simple having CV and CVC structures. But what makes Hangul reading difficult is that Hangul letters are composed of horizontal and vertical lines mostly, so which uh, makes young children to confuse at the visual discrimination and spatial relations. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that makes Hangul reading difficult is that uh, Hangul uh, Korean words has many homophones. So, for example, uh, a syllable sa has more than 20 meanings according to dictionaries. So, the meaning of homophones uh, actually depends on the context of sentences. So, it's not easy for young children to figure out their meaning. Mm -hmm. And just before, I said that Korean children are supposed to learn Hangul in elementary school, so kindergarten does not formally teach Hangul. However, many Korean children, over 70% of children, master kind of read fluently before they go to elementary school. So that was by the help of parents or by commercial worksheets. Thus, grade one does not actually focus on teaching hunger. So on, uh, for the reason, some of children, the last 30% uh, of first graders who did not uh, uh, learn adequately hunger reading, do not have enough chances to learn hunger from anywhere. They did not learn hunger from grade one adequately not from kindergarten, not from their parents. So they have to struggle to learn uh, Hangul decoding by themselves in grade one, sometimes in grade two. Whereas their friends are very getting very fluent in Hangul reading in those times. So, uh, in fact, according to one of our studies, about 7% of uh, kindergartners did not master reading of the CV syllables right before they become grade one. Mm -hmm. Similarly, about 7% of first graders uh, did not master reading of the CVC syllables at the end of grade one. They may have reading problems or uh, learning problems in school later on, mm -hmm. I think. So when I looked at characteristics of Korean or poor readers, uh, we could find phonological deficits, visual deficits, naming deficits, orthographic deficits, more for logical deficits, so uh, so many different kinds of cognitive skills are uh, related to hunger literacy skills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think. And uh, regarding classifying children with special needs, uh, including special reading and writing disabilities, we have three stages. First, uh, local school or parents refer children to. Uh, a special education supporting center, and second, the center tests children with IQs and other uh, diagnostic tests, and finally, uh, special education 
uh, the committee select children uh, with special needs and assign them um, to schools based on parents' requests. About 75% 70, of preschool children with special needs go to uh, receive inclusive education and the last 25 uh, goes to attend special education preschools. Interesting. One thing particular in Korean literacy development uh, might be that CODA phoneme awareness is important in early Hangul reading among young um, Korean children. This is related to the fact that Korean people tend to divide syllables into co uh, consonant plus vowel body part and CODA part rather than onset rhymes of syllabic units. For example, Korean people tend to divide a syllable, cat, at least not a syllable word, cat into cat plus t, rather than k plus at. Mm -hmm. Whereas Americans or people in other countries uh, uh, tend to separate cat into k and at on certain rhyme. And Korean children develop coda awareness earlier than uh, phoneme or no, onset awareness as well. On the other hand, the letter name and letter sound knowledge have moderate relations with early Hangul reading and writing. Mm -hmm. I already told you about the uh, effectiveness of teaching method. I'm going to uh, uh, talk this one again. So we may, we may need to investigate which teaching method, including forward method, or using CD syllable chart, or copying would be effective for young children who start to learn Hangul and for children with poor reading skills. Maybe effective teaching method would be different depending on Hangul reading skills. For example, forward method or forward culture method would be good to uh, for priest readers who could not read Hangul at all. Uh, whereas using CV syllable chart would be more effective for novice readers who could read some of uh, Hangul readers. So we are gonna. Uh, pursue this issue uh, later on. Okay. I think this is all that I can say. Okay, I've got one more question for you. Okay. Just, um, some people say that there is no dyslexia in Korean because Korean, as you said, mm -hmm. can be relatively easy to read. Mm -hmm. Hangul is easy to read for most people. Is that true? There's no dyslexia in uh, Korean? I don't think so. It's not true. Many people, sometimes even kindergarten teachers, teachers in elementary school think like that, mm -hmm. but it's not true. As I told you, uh, about 7% of children and kindergartners uh, did not uh, master reading of the CV syllabus. Okay. At the end, I mean, just before they go to uh, primary school. Mm -hmm. Then, and also about 7% of children, I mean, the first graders, did not master reading of the CBC syllable okay. yeah, at the end of first year. Yeah, yeah. So that 7% might be uh, having uh, reading problems and learning problems. Right. Yeah, I think so. And just as a follow-up, so in some... Um, languages or orthographies that are relatively transparent, um, like German, for example, they talk about fluency or speed being a really important aspect. Mm -hmm. Is fluency or speed something that you see as a, as a problem in Korean? Yeah, I think so. Uh, the speed is more uh, becoming important in in middle school years or later years, like the third grade, 
third grade or yeah, after that. Oh, okay. But in uh, first grade or second grade, still some of them had problem in reading the syllables. Mm 